Alright, boys and girls and other people of the universe, how's it going today? We're all good, Sam! How are you? Uh, you know, you cut out really bad, and all I heard was Sam and you, and, uh, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, I have... Discord cuts out things that are too high pitch. I know, it's, it's kind of frustrating. Especially since, like, a lot of a lot of my humor is just me talking in a high pitched <clears throat> voice. Mm hmm Yeah, no. Uh, uh, we're, we're playing Valheim. Yeah, we're, you know, just out here vibing in Valheim. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've uh, got to say, we've been, we've been chilling. We've been doing good. Yeah, I'm, almost, I'm honestly almost done with the house. Nice. I might need a little bit more wood, but that's mainly because I've been making thing look, things look kind of fancy as fuck, so. Nice. All right, let's do wood. Got a whole nother stack coming your way. Oh, yeah. you love to see it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, last time we left off talking about Crazy X's. Yes, we did. And that reminded me, I don't remember who the comedian was. I don't think it was anyone, like, super huge, but I, I, I honestly don't remember. But they talked about uh, how... Uh, only guy, only uh, people who date women, I should say. Uh, he said only guys, but you know, happy Pride Month. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> happy Pride Month, baby. <laughs> uh, but only uh, he, he was basically saying that only people who date girls get to have fun, crazy ex stories because girls who are crazy exes are like, oh my gosh, she was so jealous, or there was this one time where she uh, stole a picture of me and my ex. Or something like that. But then people yeah. who date guys and have crazy ex stories are like, yeah, he set my dog on fire because I didn't cook him dinner. And, uh, you know, I just have to say, to anyone out there who dates men, sorry for my gender, bro. Some of us suck, honestly. Dude, like, no, honestly, like, <clears throat> I say, I, like, sometimes I say, like, man, like, I think, I think that I'm a good boyfriend, all things considered. Like, I know, I know I have my flaws, and no one's perfect. But I think, on the whole, like, I try very good, I try to do a very good job to take care of my girlfriend mm -hmm. and make her feel loved. But Same here. Hand, if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, on the other hand, like, I also know that, like, I just, like, I... I think about things sometimes that I remember doing, like, as a kid in middle school. Uh huh. Like, and it's just like, bruh, what kind of psycho shit were you on? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, not not that I ever, like, murdered anybody or yeah. anything. But, like, I don't know. Just, like, the way the way I handled situations was just so immature. Oh, yeah. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely ways I could have done better and taken better care of people I love. Mm -hmm. I'm like... I just chose not to do that. And yeah, I'm I'm really glad that I've grown out of that. You know, mm -hmm. I, but I still I still feel bad for like yeah. the fact that I made the choice in the first place when I was that age. You know what I mean? I subscribe to the theory that if there is something you can look back on and regret your choice or like cringe at it, that's one of the best things in the world because that means you've grown. Exactly. Oops keep accidentally equipping my torch when I'm trying to equip my spear to kill this fucking neck. Anyway, so yeah, like, uh, make sure you grow and stuff. Make sure you're, uh, no, you're taking care of yourself, taking care of others, making sure you improve where you need to, making sure you know where you're good and don't need to, to improve too much so you're not killing yourself, and, exactly. uh, fuck this grayling! I'm gonna fucking die! Yeah. I can't. Uh, I can't see your screen, but I imagine that that was hilarious. So, I, I'm uh, hoping so. That was the are, attempt. Uh, for those of you who are laughing for me, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your way of telling me that that joke wasn't very funny? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it was funny. Uh. Uh, I'm I'm running out of uh, tiny trees to cut down. Yeah, you're gonna have to actually start breaking stuff. Mm-hmm. I've been doing some of these big beech trees, but I've also been taking care of all the little saplings and stuff. Yeah. 
and the house is coming along pretty good. Not gonna yeah, lie. I haven't looked at it that much, so I we can do like a big reveal when uh w w when like I come back to put my next stack of logs. Cause like it looked great at the beginning of last episode. Yeah. The uh, the big reveal for the house that's uh, not not even done yet. Well, you know, we, you can kind of tell how it's gonna look after a certain bit, and I I have to come back to give you logs anyway, so. Oh, you can ah, see shit. it. It's coming into focus. Wow. We're gonna be living like fucking kings. Kind of the plan. Are we going to become the kind of tyrants we were sent to this land to destroy? Uh, 100%. Uh, if we don't, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. Ah, uh, well, fair enough. Man, it feels... I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the way it looks, but it feels like too squat. No, I like it. Especially when you head into the inside. It looks very nice. Like, this is yeah, a great it's... base camp. Yeah, it, it looks good inside. It's just outside, you know. I, I, I could take it. I, I think it looks alright. I think the problem is that the roof indents a little bit. Yeah. Whereas, like, if it were a better triangle, it would, it would be good. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the look I was going for, though, with the indentation. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I just insulted the one part of the outside of the house you liked, then. Uh, yeah, but you know, <laughs> once again, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good. Can we get a fireman's pull to, um, to come down to the bottom here? I fucking wish, dude. They not have fireman's pulls in, uh, yeah, in fucking uh, Asgard? Game devs, hear my pleas. Uh, put it, put in a fire pole. Mm -hmm. This, this, these, the people who make this game. I don't know. I, I get the vibe from this game that the people who made it are the kind of people who would do something if we sacrificed a small animal to them. <laughs> uh, fourteen <laughs> subscribers special. <laughs> <laughs> Sa <laughs> sacrificing my cat to the Valheim devs to add firemen's poles to the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like gonna be it's gonna be one of those things where they're like they have to like release a statement and it'll be like we will like we will not be releasing fireman polls they were in development but after the sacrifice <laughs> uh we don't want to kind of condone that kind of behavior <laughs> yeah i've been thinking about getting a kitten actually yeah not to sacrifice to the valheim devs yeah, just I to was, like be just to be friends with tech. I'd yeah, get a different I, cat to sacrifice to the Valheim devs. Like one of those, like, bald Siamese cats who are pretty much Satan spawn anyhow. Sure, yeah. One of those. The only... I don't know. Those things look like they... I mean, not that tall and short games uh, condones the murdering of animals to the, uh, the game devs, but... I think it was I mean, literally established in the first episode that I condone the killing of small animals. All right. Well, never mind. <laughs> I, I redact That's my That's literally statement. one of the quotes. One of the only quotes I remember from like very early. Uh, Don't starve together. Is you said tall and short games does not condone the killing of small animals, and I said, "Well, speak for your fucking self" or something of the sort. Uh, th that does sound like uh does sound like us. Yeah. Oh man, so I fucking vaguely remember something like that. <laughs> yeah, I my friend Rycoustic called me earlier right after I ended stream, and uh, he's like, "Hey man, how's it going?" I was like, "Good, what's up?" He's like, "So I'm thinking about getting a job wa washing mirrors," and I was like, "Oh really?" Knowing that something dumb was about to come, and uh, he was like, "Yeah, it's a job I could really see myself doing." And then I heard someone like giggling in the background. And instead of being like, haha, that was a good one, I was like, really? This is what you fucking called and interrupted my night for? <laughs> and I, I immediately clarified for the sake of the person in the background that I was just joking. Because I know he knows that, like, that, that that's a joke I'd make, but... <laughs> Giggling stops. <laughs> yeah! It's just like, 
Rakustic, is this guy really your friend? He seems like a dick. He seems pretty... I don't think he took that one too well, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I thought you said you could call this guy and it'd be fun. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no but i had a, had a pretty fun stream today this, this, this obviously okay, will have been done by the time this comes out because uh it was done before i recorded it uh no real need to mention that but yeah i gotta so for anyone who doesn't know uh there's this feature in pokemon sword and shield called dynamax adventures and uh it has Oh, interesting. I think something killed a bird over here, and I picked up the remains. Uh, nice. Yeah, no, I got a feather. Um, anyway, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Pokemon Sword and Shield has this thing called Dynamax Adventures, where basically uh, you and three other people, either NPCs or actual people, uh, go through and uh, defeat basically four, three mini-bosses, and then, like, a legendary Pokemon is the boss Pokemon. And, uh... You can catch them all, and it's got like a 1 in 300 chance of being shiny, unless you've uh, completed the regional Pokedex, then it's like 1 in 100. And literally the first Pokemon I caught was a shiny. Damn, dude, that's cool. Yeah, and uh, this guy, Empathic, who ended up joining me on a lot of these raids, uh, cool guy. I don't know if he's got a Twitch or anything, but he, he's a cool dude. Uh, he he's been working for two days now on getting a uh, certain legendary Pokemon as a shiny, and he has not even gotten a single regular Pokemon as a shiny, and so he he was angry and jealous. <laughs> but as he completed his regional Pokédex, yes, he has. What a bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brian actually joined me on stream. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, no, uh, I, if anybody recalls, I've said on, I've declared multiple times in various places that Brian is not allowed on my streams because he's funnier than me, and, uh, that, that held true today, honestly. The, for the last 30 minutes while he was there, the stream got better. God damn it, Brian. God damn Wait. it, Brian. Ben's like, I got a lot in life. No, I don't. I got the stream. <laughs> yeah. I had the stream. You took that from me. You get to be taller. <laughs> you, you, you get a. Uh, you get to be more youthful. You get to be funnier. You can't come you know here what? and show people all that. Ooh, something yeah. else. Uh, tomorrow, I last night, literally at one a.m., was like, I just need to get myself a webcam. I've got a webcam coming tomorrow. Dude, sick. So, uh, my streams are definitely going to start having face cam, and, uh, if we can find a good setup, we might, might try out face cam for this channel. Ooh, that would be interesting. It would be interesting. You know, actually, Ben. Uh-huh. Realistically, like, I guess it would be easier for us to do it at your place, but, I mean, we could set something up here, because, I mean, like, for a lot of our lot of our uh, channel like mm -hmm. we do it on your computer because you have a graphics card but yeah i mean my computer is going to be just as beefy as yours in a couple days here so. that's true and you have a room that can be turned into a bit of a recording studio uh, it's already a recording studio <laughs> well yeah but we can turn it into even more of a recording studio <laughs> yeah the one thing is is that i do have to get a better mic because the one that i have is kind of basic like it's, yeah it's a it's a good starter mic but it's not professional so i mm -hmm. want to get like i want to get a blue a blue yeti like you have yeah well mine's not quite a yeti it's a snowball it's, it's a snowball yeah but i want I, yeah i want to get a yeti yeah now i got i got pretty lucky because this microphone was either a birthday i think it was a christmas present actually uh and my dad uh he's He's always been, like, into the newest technologies and whatnot. And yeah. so uh, he knew all about, like, good microphones and shit. And so he picked me out a pretty good one. And honestly, I'm very happy with this microphone. I can tolerate my own voice through this microphone. That's hard to do, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I was just talking about that earlier today on stream. That, like, I really actually don't mind watching my own stuff now that I've got a better microphone. When I was just using the one that was on these headphones... Uh, I think that it was a lot better when I first got it, but these headphones were like twenty bucks and or twenty five yeah. closer, and uh, I 
uh, I've just used the hell out of them. So, like, sound quality is still good, uh, but, like, it gives out a little bit every once in a while if I mess with the dial that adjusts sound. And, like, honestly, I just need to get myself more expensive headset, but I think that's going to be, like, uh, my something I do with uh, the money I make on Twitch if I hit affiliate this summer. Dude, nice. Yeah, which you have to make a hundred before you uh, actually get money. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna really focus on growth, getting subscribers. I'll do like uh, certain things for donations. Like I I'm looking to make my time spent on Twitch worthwhile. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That'd be exciting too. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm excited to see it grow. Yeah, no, me well, me too. <laughs> It's yeah. my channel, so obviously, but yeah, me too. Uh, no, yeah, it's been growing. It's it's been so cool, uh, be watching my watching this thing that I've worked so hard on come to fruition. Like uh, made so many friends, so many great friends along the way. Started this, which has been uh, fucking. I say it almost every time we record, but always a highlight of my day slash week when we get to do this. Yeah, me too, man. <clears throat> me too. That's and why like, do it. it's it's honestly the one hobby I've had since I uh, played Pokemon originally when I was like fourteen, fifteen, and I was super into it. Where like I'm really, I can really be proud of the progress I've made with this hobby, and really proud of what I've done with this hobby. That's awesome, dude. And I, I, I don't. Not to sound cocky or anything. Like I know only one percent of people on Twitch are like partnered or whatever, and can actually like, and even less can actually like do it full time for a living, which isn't really the goal, but would be cool someday. Uh, I mean, who? But dude, who doesn't want to make money playing video games? Like, right. Exactly. But anyway, all that to say, I, I have a good feeling about both my my stream and this particular channel like i think uh the content we make here and the content i put out on my twitch channel are really good they're up to the quality that i like and i get nothing but positive feedback on them i i feel i've always felt that like our quality is great like our or like our content is great it's just like i feel like our quality could stand to be a little bit better and by that i mean just that like <clears throat> like um we don't have like top of actually, the line microphones or yeah, setups exactly. or anything and like that we're not, we're not editing our videos either like if we actually that too took the yeah time to go through and edit our videos and make them like you know super well done like you know cut out the lulls and all that other stuff uh-huh um i think i think we would do very well very fast you know what i mean yes but we just we're just both not in a place to where we have time for that no I'd yeah rather, i'd rather it be something that we're having fun with and not stressed out about you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah and maybe once we grow a little bit more maybe it's gonna be something we put time into but then putting the time into it causes the growth and yeah exactly that's that's part of the reason i i'm going to go so hard on my twitch channel this summer is because uh making my twitch channel grow makes over here grow which will make it get recommended to more people which make the twitch exactly. channel grow and that's why you have multiple projects going at once when you're a streamer slash content creator and you like make sure to put yourself and your content out there in as many places as possible as long as it can be the kind of thing you're usually producing and the kind of quality you usually want it to be you don't yeah. want to spread yourself too thin which is why I only have uh, two main projects right now. And then I guess, I don't know, I kind of consider my Twitch channel and my YouTube channel one and the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's a similar, it's, it's a similar vein of stuff, but also like, you know, you're, you're bringing the same personality to it. You know? Exactly. Whereas like, I don't know, I feel like they've gotten more and more similar over time because like I realized that over here, the kind of energy I was bringing over here was a lot more entertaining than the kind of energy I was bringing over on the Ben's Awesome channel. And I don't yeah. think they're exactly the same, but like, mm -hmm. I do think that I've gotten more similar to how I am over here, over there. Yeah. This is a... Oh, hey, there's a guy chasing me. Have we had a thunderstorm yet in this game? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. At least I, I think we have. I think lightning might have struck kind of close to me. 
but I don't actually know if that's a thing in this game. I don't really know. I'm, I'm be honest with you. Bro, I've just been fucking up these gray dwarves, by the way. <laughs> no! I shouldn't have said anything. Did you die? Yeah, I didn't. I, 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 I wasn't paying attention to my health question. bar. I asked that question, looked up at the mini-map, watched your icon disappear. <laughs> yeah, I I pulled a U. I, like, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this Breath of the Wild thing, and then... Oh, God. The, but those are the... I was telling my girlfriend about how those are, like, my favorite moments, and I really hope that either we or someone else makes, like, a fucking... Uh, compilation of just the best memes just like mm -hmm. mlg pro to mlg no uh yeah i ah oh, that sucked my uh i've got this cool little contraption sitting on my desk that uh basically if it's a hot day i turn it on and it just sprays mist at me very nice and it was blocking my health bar Oh. And so I wasn't paying attention to to that. Well, that would do her. Yeah, what is corpse run? Is This is my first time so, dying, I think. Or Oh, oh no, shit. I died a bunch in the crypt. Never mind. So corpse run just means that you don't have... Um, I, think, I think you can... Uh, like, you regain stamina a little bit faster, so that way you can kind of get to your destination easier. Mm -hmm. But then, also, you have the ability to... Um, uh, there's one other thing. I think you also don't have skill drain. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, no, there's a thing on my screen right now that says no skill drain. Yeah. Right. I need to kill one more deer. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to only kill one more? Wait, never mind. I don't need to kill any deer. The deer are safe today. All right, cool. You wanna you wanna pick things up in the next episode? You know, man, we might as well. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully, then I'll finish the house. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Ben's in here giving you the tour. I got. Oh, real quick before we go, I, I'm setting up things to where. Uh, this is gonna be my bedroom over here. I'm gonna put your bedroom over in this corner. Do a similar thing. Nice. And then I think right in the middle, I'll put, like, the crafting bench and stuff like that. Super um, cool. And, and, yeah, you know, just kind of flesh things out a little bit, but... Yeah, once right it's finished, now, we'll get MTV in here. We'll do an episode of Cribs. Exactly. Exactly. Pimp my barn. <laughs> yes! All uh, right. Well, guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Um... And why don't you go head over to Ben's Twitch channel and, and give him a follow. It would really help us out. Yeah. Or just chill here. We've got so much content on this yeah. channel. No, and more coming. It's not going to stop anytime soon. So mm -hmm. might as well hit the bell and sit in for a long time, all right? Yeah. All right. See you guys next time.